Bulolo MP Sam Basil spoke from the opposition ranks, which is now clearly a minority. He brought up the Outstanding District Services Improvement Project Fund owed to members of the opposition. Seven million out of the ten million still outstanding. He made the follow-up query against the backdrop of the government's recent leadership summit, which ran with the slogan, Accelerating Implementation. We're still waiting for our balance of the seven million of the DSIP. Can the Prime Minister uh, shed some lights before distributing the next batch of DSIP by the end of the sitting? Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said he had not given any instructions to withhold funds belonging to the districts. He clarified that other members of parliament, not just in the opposition, had not received the full 10 million in DSIP funds for 2013. People of Bulolo deserve better. Uh, we are there to help him uh, make sure that the district services have been rolled out properly. Uh, I can assure him that the funds will be released with him. Rather than uh, displaying out all these issues on social media and the media, I urge him to sit down with the Minister for Finance, go to Hulupindi and try and sort out the outstanding issues that he has to sort it out. Mr. Basil not satisfied with the Prime Minister's answer. In a media conference after the sitting, Mr. Basil said the opposition will be seeking a Supreme Court order to make the Finance Department pay outstanding DSIP program funds for 2013.